name, um, his son by the wrong name. So to give you guys some more backstory on that, him and his wife had push up a show. All right, so it's Jose joined by Marcus today, and we're doing a collab for Dad Chronicles. Um, so last week I had another dad story I wanted to bring up for our episode, and surprise, surprise, I forgot. <laughs> but perfect opportunity to kind of make a dad chronicle about it. So this um, father shared his story of his mother-in-law consistently calling um, his son by the wrong name. So to give you guys some more backstory on that, him and his wife had you know, 10 no questions asked vetoes on names. And the mother-in-law yeah. had a name suggestion like Sheldon. So it wasn't actually Sheldon, but he said that's what the mother-in-law wanted to name the, the boy, Sheldon. So he didn't like that. They ended up naming the boy Alexander. And the mother-in-law would just not let that die. So once the baby was born, gave the name of Alexander, she kept calling the boy Sheldon. Yep. And the father was trying to be a nice, you know, nice guy, let it slide. But she kept saying Sheldon, 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 until finally he snaps and said, if you're not going to respect and call my son by his right name, get out of my house. So he snapped. All right, so... I'm not gonna. I'm, I, I gotta side with the father on that, just because from my own personal experience, I've dealt with something similar with my mm-hmm. own child. Because as I, I, I guess, like, I'll tell the audience, but um, so my son's name uh, was Jesse Alexander Bulls. <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> so now, when me and uh, his mom got together, I remember her telling me that you know, like she had kids, she always wanted to name the kid after her grandfather. Which I told her, like, okay, like, we can, yeah, that's cool. We can have a discussion about it, but it's something we both got to agree on. So, um, I remember, like, one day, like, when we find out, finally found out she was pregnant and she was hanging out with her mom. I went over and I walked through the door and it was like, so we're naming it. So he, he's going to be named Jesse. Like, like, no questions asked. I was like, so you, you seriously, like, you just made this decision without even asking me? Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm his father that I know of. Like, you seriously could not, like, consult me? Yeah, like, where's your veto? Like, I did not want to name him after his I, I didn't want to name him after anyone. I wanted him to have his own name, just like my father wanted me to have my own name. And mm-hmm. the name that I wanted to choose would be Justin. I wanted him to be Justin. And to be honest, looking at him now, he... He he could fit. He he could definitely fit the Justin role, but um, what pissed me off was uh her mother, uh, his grandmother basically said, "Oh well, he has your last name. That's that that's good enough." I was like, "Excuse me." Two things. I understand that this is the first grandchild in your family. That's mm-hmm. fine, but that's an insult. You just basically slapped me in my face with my own dick and didn't even give me permission to do it. Like he, yes, he's he's going to have my last name. He's my child. No questions asked. If you ask a hyphenate, that's fine. As long as my name is in there, that's fine. My first child, her first child. We should both agree on the name for the child. And then if we can't come to a consensus, Jesse would be the default name. I could have respected that argument, but she gave me no recourse. And then, of course, she said, well, you can give him the middle name. I was like, really? <laughs> Sloppy seconds? Too bad he couldn't do Jesse Justin. That just doesn't flow. So I guess nah. JJ. JJ. But no, <laughs> I, I side with the father as well because it's a challenge picking the name. Like In my situation as well. Um, like me and my wife, before we knew the, the gender of our latest baby, if it was going to be a boy or a girl, we were throwing, you know, we came up with names for both. So the boy name was super easy. We landed on Joel. That was going to be the name. But right. lo and behold, that's not the plan. We ended up having a girl. And that was a challenge. You know, we, we had names that we really liked. Uh, Mia, Jessica, we were telling the family members or friends. Me and they would know dope. somebody. They know somebody that with that name they don't like, or there's some past drama, or we already have a family member with that name, so you gotta have to keep it original. Um, yeah. So finally, we're like you know what, we're just gonna keep it Jessica. We'd like to have that sign with my last name, just like Jessica Monhart. 
And right. like two weeks before the baby's born, my dad was like, oh, you guys can um, name her Jessica? There's a name called Jessica. Here, listen to it. And he plays like this song from like the 70s and it's in Spanish. Horrible, horrible song. Ruined the name Jessica for me. So we had to pivot. And around the same time was when uh, you know, Kobe Bryant had passed. So his wife was a lot on, on the news. So Vanessa Bryant, my you know, wife liked Vanessa. So that's how we kind of landed on Vanessa for ours. But man, was that difficult. Bro, nah, that, hold up. Your dad literally ruined the name. Je- okay, Jessica Manada is, sounds like a fucking superhero name. It, like for a real. superhero I, alter ego. I'm going to sing you that song. Gone. I'm going to sing you that song, man. Because it, it, like, we had it. We were like loving it. And then my dad killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, no, yeah, so, like, so I, can, I can understand why that dad got so pissed though. Like getting back to that story, like I get like, like when we get into the whole like it's like their first child and it's also like their parents' first grandchild, so it's new territory for everyone. And you basically got to get into the point where now you kind of got to treat the parents kind of like kids and say like, hey, you can't do this around my kid, you can't say this around my kid. Just like they used to tell you when you was a kid, like, you can't say this, you can't say that, not until you're old enough because you don't understand what it means. And even then, you kind of shouldn't say it around us. But then they'll flip the script when they got grandchildren because it's not my child. So the -hmm. same rules that I had in charge for you does not translate to that child, which is kind of stupid because technically speaking, it is technically your child. It is your grandchild. It's your children's children. So it is in direct relation to you. So therefore, it is your child. It is your family. So you should also respect that sanctity and your child's um, guidelines for raising their child. Because you wouldn't let anybody else question you how to raise your child, not even your parents. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it it's kind of hard to like put like your parents in their place when it comes to your child, just because like you don't want to be like that guy, but at the same time you want them to respect like your wishes, as well as the plan for which you have for raising your child. And exactly. it's, it's kind of, it's a tricky, it's a tricky subject. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm sure this guy took his my loss opinion into account. Sheldon just kind of didn't sound good to him. That's the name he's going to call his kid, you know, for the rest of his life. So. That know. sounds like a kid who's going to get beat up a lot in school. Exactly. So, you know, I, I, res- I respect what he did. And you know, hopefully the mother in law now is calling the kid by the proper name. Hopefully. If not, that that that, that, that like banning her it hurts both it hurts everybody. Yeah. And for sure. I hope she's I hope she at least respectful enough to like, okay, I, I get I messed up, I apologize, I'll call him Alexander from now on. Like to be honest, like I understand you love your husband, but Sheldon mm-hmm. lady, No. Like you gotta, you gotta give them some names to like, like be like, have some confidence behind. Sheldon, that sounds like that nerdy kid in the back of the classroom with big ass glasses that everybody throws their books at. That's that's already Big Bang Theory. You know, that name's a little too famous with the character. You know. Yeah, well, like when I hear names like that, like I'm, I'm not trying to be like a Debbie Downer or nothing, just in case your kid's name is Sheldon. But I, I hear names like that, and I just think, like, that kid is going to have a very tough childhood. Because I don't know why, but kids with, like, cool names end up being the cool kids. Kids with fucking name named after their grandfather end up being the, the kids that, you know, no one likes until, like, I don't know, his personality develops. And then everybody realizes, oh, shit, he's cool. But by that time, he's, like, 32. Mm, yeah. And names are very cyclical. So a lot of classical names now are popular again. So, you know, just whatever name sounds good to you and your, your wife, husband, whatever, that's the name it should yeah, be. I can, I, can, I, can, I can barely count on both hands how many Marcuses I've run into. Right. Well, like, oh, for me, Jose. Too bad. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, so uh, many Jose. 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 You know, but at, at least like I, I respect the history for that. Like, I know it's my grandpa, my dad, you know, it's like a legacy. But that's why I was like, if I was going to have a boy, it wasn't going to be Jose just because I know what I went to. You know, but everybody asked me, like, so you got to name him Junior? I was like, fuck no. I don't, want, I don't, want, him to, I don't <laughs> want him to have my bad luck. Yeah. Like, I got to cast all my debt onto him. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> that is messed up. <laughs> 
but yeah, that uh, I, I really hope that they were they're able to reconcile because it, it it is kind of painful cutting a family member off, especially when like the, if the kids used to seeing them and then you don't see them no more, and then eventually they're gonna ask questions. Like you can you can never not expect the kid to act like how come I don't see like grandma no more. That's it all. Like I said, hopefully they hash it out. But that was our story and that was our takes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Dad Chronicles, everybody. Everybody be safe. Please name your kids some good names. <laughs> <laughs> Please. For their good. <laughs> All right. Later, guys. Later, Ozzy.